if we've not been able to get exactly words from them, the, the best possible yeah. word we've got from uh, Dr. Kinsunyak, because when we came to uh, the Honorable Governor Kwame Abuja, who's the purpose of the NDC, had made just a sweeping comment that they are not the ones who are going to be fighting because they came, uh, they came here early and they saw that uh, Frank and Adam had already been allowed into into the into the floor of the house, and so for them, they are not here to fight, and they will do no such thing. We've been hearing from um, 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 Frank and Adam Pass, who have also been speaking ahead and saying that look, they are not here to fight; they are only here to ensure that the majority status is protected. We've heard from Dr. Kinsley Nyako as well, mm. who says that they are also not here to fight and that it is a democratic country and we are teaching to be able to respect uh, the, 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 the ruling of the, of the speaker and then respect the various institutions of the state as well. And so both sides of the House lean into a, a, a certain argument in line with the fact that they are seeking to respect authority, seeking to respect uh, the institutions of state, the minority leaning more to the uh, speaker's position and then we're seeing um, the N N NPP corpus as well okay. wanting to lean a bit more. To, All right. To, okay, Eric, to, Eric, just stay on the line for me. Eric, stay on the line for me. Already, we're making this possible because we have great viewers. Um, already a number of um, over 5,000 people watching us on Facebook. We encourage you because we are your ultimate source of getting credible news, the information up to speed as it is. If you've joined us on Facebook, keep sharing the stream. Your election command center, just some few weeks to this election, a crisis that has been created, according to many of you. I'll just read a couple of your comments also on the stream, then we'll get to know. Uh, we have Adam Nestor saying that, Look, we have a legal system that seems to be collapsing our country. And then uh, Obren Ponkaba also says that we have a crisis in Ghana. Kwesi Mensa watching us from the United States of America also says, what is happening to Ghana? Somebody needs to put their foot down and advise these members of parliament. Adolf Mate says, why are they even dancing, Nagbaja? They are trying to rile up people. Now, uh, we have ABF Husseini, who's had some interaction or have interaction with, um, with the reporter as well as um, Eric. Eric, do you have him or he's walking away? As I can see on, this, on the stream. Eric. He said that um, they don't need the kufu before it's ready. And if you know ABF Husseini, uh, customary um, proverbs or adages is what he's, he's, he's known by. He's been providing a bit more and saying that uh, they sat at the rightful side of the house, which is where they are supposed to, to sit because of the ruling of the speaker. Ask the question about uh, the, the, the Supreme Court's uh, processes being served on, on Parliament yesterday. We saw that the leader of the NPP caucus, uh, the Honorable Arsenio Martin, uh, had spoken to some media person, stressed the point that the court processes had been, had been served. We're yet to see uh, the Honorable Apenyo Martin, but we've seen Frank and Adam Pell, who's a part of the, of the leadership sitting uh, there. And for ABA to say, they are seated at the right-hand side with regard to matters of the, of the court documents, they are awaiting the Speaker because as MPs, they respect only the Speaker of Parliament, and that's the only thing that uh, they will look forward to. And then he left us with that adage, you don't eat the food before the soup is ready. And so this is what it's looking like. We've seen a bit more MPs, the Honorable QC also uh, comes through as well. And so far, it, it does look like, um, Honorable Sam George as well, it does look like there are a lot more seats available uh, mm. for the many individuals who, All right. who continue to come okay. through. And uh, so we uh, wait uh, to see what happens. Uh, Eric, stay, stay with us. Stay with us because we need you on there. Let me just go to Echo Vincent Asefwa. If you were in the house, well-dressed, well, well attired according to what the protocols are for Parliament, um, what would you have been doing currently? Because a number of the viewers always saying that fire for fire, um, I just hope everything goes smoothly. That's yeah, tra trap queen, etc. You members of parliament from both sides of the house seem to have chapped out the citizenry. And on one hand, the opinion doesn't look good. Uh, these NDC MPs are only, are only um, putting the speaker 
um, at a very tight corner. Do not lead the Speaker of Parliament into temptation. Do not. Do not lead the Speaker of Parliament into temptation. I will draw your attention, especially um, to uh, Nanayao, um, to the Constitution, um, Article 2, um, 2 and 4, the combined effect. The we'll Constitution again? Yes, the combined effect of 2, 2 and 2, 4. We we'll talks about the fact that orders and declarations from the Supreme Court, if it is disobeyed, okay, if it is disobeyed, can amount to high crime. If Nanayao sits here and almost like what the NDC MPs are also doing, there has been a ruling and an order from the Supreme Court, stay in the hands of the Speaker of Parliament, that the ruling that you gave in their estimation should not be executed until the final determination of the earlier suit or the red that was filed by the majority is determined. Then NDC MPs, lawmakers, you are here, especially when the parliament, that is the legal department, was served yesterday as far as the ruling of the Speaker of Parliament is concerned. And we are here, Nanaya, our NDC MPs, trying to say that whatever the Speaker of Parliament said with the greatest of respect is bullshit. And people are not going to adhere to the rulings of the Speaker of Parliament. The Speaker of Parliament draws its power from the Constitution itself. As members of Parliament, we draw our privileges, immunities, our powers and everything from the Constitution. Mm. We cannot be seen. Well, let me just say that we've been uh, joined by long-standing political scientists and then also one of the leading members of the ruling New Patriotic Party, indeed contested to become uh, the chair of the party as well, um, contributing to our national discourse when it comes to governance, Dr. Amwakuba, the distinguished personality of Jonah. Good morning to you, sir. I'm not done with my submission. No, no, wait, wait. Good morning to you. I just want to establish him so that. Good morning, sir. Hello, you are doing well. Okay, great, great. Just be monitoring the television and stay on the line for me. Vincent, so, continue. So we cannot be seen okay. to be disrespecting the ruling of the Supreme Court. That is number one. Number two, Nanaya, indeed, as you said, you're not a lawyer. If you come to cons uh, the Constitution once again, Article 1-2, which says that the Constitution shall be the supreme law of the land and any other law found to be inconsistent with any provision of this Constitution shall, to the extent of the inconsistency, be void. Why is this important? It is important because he just opposed the Constitution to that of the MPP Constitution. I do not have... You also read from... Uh, yes, yeah, so hold on. I'm coming. Well. I'm making a point. Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming exactly. there. Hold on. You are, talking, you are talking about the fact He's that... He's been a gentleman this morning, please. The MPP constitution allows a member to forfeit his membership if he decides to contest on the ticket of another party or goes independent. But that is where he gets it wrong if he wants to interpret what cross carpeting is. Because cross carpet is what happens in the chamber instantly. If you want to leave MPP and cross the carpet to the other side, that is cross carpeting. You cannot tell me that I have declared an intention. That I want to be part of the next parliament. Not on the ticket of the party that I am part of. But on a different political ticket. Vincent. Then you tell me that because of that. Vincent, I have no more for you. That is why I want to be legal practitioner. Yes, that is why so I want to put this to you. Mm -hmm. You are a member of parliament. Yes. You're Otafu. Yes. That's your constituency. Yes. So, let's say you go independent. Mm -hmm. I, de I declare to go independent, to join the ninth parliament as an independent candidate. You Not have, the eighth you parliament. Have, you have the Electoral Commission recognizing you as an independent candidate yes. on December 7, yes. 2024. Yes. And currently, seven in the eighth parliament. Yes. You are a member of parliament on the ticket of the MPP. Yes. You say that the MPP will accommodate you as a member of parliament in just some few weeks to that December 7, and allow you to go to Otafo and be campaigning Absolutely. against an MPP candidate. Yes. Just because you left the MPP, because you think you have the mass support base of 
the constituents of Otafo and indeed members of the MPP because it is a stronghold of the MPP. At the time that I was contesting, I contested on the ticket of the new patriotic party. The social contract that I had with the people was for me to be in parliament for four years on the ticket of the new patriotic party. The four years ends on the 6th of January. It does not stop me from taking different steps or other steps to be part of a different parliament, i.e. the ninth parliament, on a different ticket. So why then in 2020 uh, did we have the president of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Dodankwe Kufado, indeed go to Formena, go and stand on the party platform, campaign against a member of parliament who stood in the last Campaigned parliament. Please, 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 so please, please. Let me pose my question. Do you want to answer the question for yourself? I, I want to listen and pose to you, by yourself. I know where you're going. The president went on the campaign platform. Yes. Campaigned against the member of parliament representing the MPP in the run-up to the end of the seventh parliament. Yes. And that member of parliament yes. will be contesting as an independent candidate yes. in December. Yes. On December 7th yes. of 2020. Yes. And you are saying that in that instance, if it were you, yes. that would be fine. That the president can come to yes. Otafo, campaign against you, yes. and at the same time say that vote for the MPP candidate. Why not? What was the purpose for the campaign? The purpose for the campaign was to get his party candidate to be part of the next parliament. Why then do you want the Formula MP to be now... On your ticket now. He wants to. It is his fundamental human right. And that is why it comes back to issues of interpretation. I for you and your like, are you not playing double standard How with this How are issue? we playing double standard? You answer me. Um, but I want to understand I ask you why a question, you think you answer me with another Be question. Because I want to understand why you think we are playing double standard. The constitution is a living organism. If you go and read the 24 versus attorney general case, it is a living organism. Capable of growth. The fact that there has been an interpretation to it in 2020 doesn't mean that the Supreme Court cannot depart from its earlier ruling, knowing very well that indeed the Constitution is a living organism, capable of growth. So my point is that it is an issue of interpretation because what we are doing right here now and what my other brothers are doing is that we are putting rival meanings as far as the Constitution is concerned. And if you read the case of Akusa, Akusa will tell you that as soon as you put rival meanings, or two persons put rival meanings, as far as the interpretation of the constitution is concerned, you take it to the Supreme Court for the Supreme Court to interpret for you. That is why the majority leader went to parliament, invoked the original exclusive jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, that the Supreme Court should interpret the constitution as far as 97 is concerned. So if you are putting rival meanings on it, it does not lie in the mouth of the Speaker of Parliament to interpret the constitution because that is not do you say the actions or the ruling of the, of the Speaker of Parliament the last week mm. was coterminous to interpreting the Constitution? Or he the, was just undertaking the, his work as a Speaker the, of Parliament, the Speaker of Parliament as enshrined the in the Constitution of Parliament that we was have. smart to have said in his ruling that I am not interpreting the Constitution. I am only applying, <laughs> I am only applying the Constitution. But mind you, there has been an earlier red file in the Supreme Court interpreting what the speaker sought to apply in parliament and that interlocutory injunction according to expert uh, expert Mofat, okay says that as soon as there has been an application in parliament uh, at the supreme court that application is enough to stay in the hands of anybody who intends to take any action as far as the claims or the relief that is being sought in the rate is concerned well, was the speaker, so the speaker of parliament I'm saying that. The I'm asking was you, was the speaker served at the time it, that he was making these it, pronouncements? See, when it comes to issues of service. As we even broadcast live right here on TV3. When it comes to issues of service, okay, it is regulated by Order 7 of the CI 47. Now, if I want to serve you, I have to come to you personally and direct the service. If you frustrate it, I have to put it as near as possible. That is what Order 7 is saying, okay? In the event, in, oh, hold on. In the event that you frustrate the service, I may have to go by way of a substituted service. But the Speaker of Parliament had already agreed with the Chief Justice and came by way of a practice direction that members of Parliament and Speaker of Parliament cannot be served on any other day apart from For Monday. good reason. And no, no, but you see... For good reason. No, but you see, the CF47 is a subsidiary legislation. 
a subsidiary le a legislation that is subservient to the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. If you check Article 157, Article 157 talks about how the rules of committee brings about the subsidiary legislation. And CI 47 is one of them. The Chief Justice, Come and if like the Speaker of Parliament, oh, sought to oh, amend. Yes, he was saving. Amend. And I'm saying that. No, no, but if you resist service. No, no, listen. Anyway, no, no, because you're not we're joined, saying, we're, please, please, if you resist service. We're joined by over 20,000 people watching currently that. on X. No, used to be called Twitter. So for those of you who are used to Twitter, please go to X. You also join us. Um, over five, over five, over five thousand of you also watching us on Facebook, and I ask a categorical question: At the time that the speaker was making that ruling the last week, Has was he, he served? served? No. More no. so, the speaker of Parliament categorically also had explained that they have an agreement with the Chief Justice in plain language. I'm not a lawyer, and so please pardon my language. And they call it a practice direction that says that because members of parliament to and fro will be working, if you want to serve them based on agreement with the chief justice, you serve them on Mondays, right? Yes, and I'm saying that. And, yeah. and the rationale was that you don't obstruct their work at the time they will be working within the days of the week. So Mondays per the agreement was right. So I was asking, why not wait for Monday? No, he says that. Because doesn't you, matter. Because you see, Echo, you see Vincent Asif, well, you're a lawyer. Let's, 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 are you saying the that the Speaker of Parliament was disingenuous? Absolutely. Because, frustrated service? Absolutely. Because you see, you see, how can point. you say that of the distinguished cannot, Speaker of Parliament? The Speaker of Parliament, you see, party's direction cannot amend a provisional constitution, uh, uh, a provision in the constitution. A party's direction cannot override a provision in the constitution. A party's point. direction cannot override a provision in a subsidiary legislation. Article 11 is very clear when it talks about the sources of law. If you want to come by way or if you want to make sure that you amend a subsidiary legislation, Article 11 is very clear as to how you go, um, you go and amend a subsidiary legislation. You have to lay it before Parliament. How can a Speaker of Parliament, if like the Chief Justice, amend Order 7 of the CR 47 and says that members of Parliament cannot be served on any other day apart from Mondays? Who does that? Is that the law? Is the law at the bosom of the Speaker of Parliament to amend it anyhow he wants? Have you challenged the law? No, I'm not, but we are, in, we, are, we are in the Supreme Court. So I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that when it comes to issues of service, yes, as members of Parliament, we have privileges and immunities. But the privileges and immunities cannot topple a provisional constitution, cannot topple subsidiary legislation. That has, yes, because you see, because you don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that... Because you're speaking too much English. No, 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 no. It is because, it is because when a certain law... The point and I have is read this. article one two to you. Any law, any law that is inconsistent, any any law that is inconsistent in the constitution. Sorry.